Hi, in my WordPress website, I have created a form using the free WP Forms Lite plugin. Now I want to save the form submissions for this form. Later I would also want to show the form entries from this form on the WordPress front end. People who use the WP Forms Lite plugin usually search for where to find entries on Forms Lite. To simply answer this question, form entries are not stored in WP Forms Lite free plugin. To save and access the WP Forms entries you need to upgrade to the premium plan because WP Forms entry management is only available in the paid plans. Since the form entries are not saved sometimes, if you have an email deliverability issue, you might lose your form submissions. So it is better to save them to your site. Not just saving the entries you would also want to display it on the front end on WordPress pages and posts. Normally saving plus display entries would take a couple of add-ons but in this video we will use a single free plugin to do these things. Tablesome is a free, WP Forms database add-on and view entries plugin that is available in the WordPress repository. Link to Tablesome will be given in the description of this video. Not only can you save the WP Forms entries you would also edit, delete and manually or automatically export the entries. In this video tutorial, we will use Tablesome to save entries and display them on WordPress pages and posts. Let's install Tablesome in our WordPress website. In your WordPress dashboard, under Plugins menu click Add New. In the next page, search for Tablesome to install and activate the Tablesome plugin. Tablesome plugin saves form entries on tables, so let's create a new table to save our WP Forms entries. In the Create New Table page give the table a suitable title and move to the Triggers and Actions toolbar to create a WP Forms trigger. In the Actions toolbar, under the Trigger 1 section you have to select WP Forms in the Integrations field. You could also integrate Contact Form 7 and Elementor Forms, if you have them. Then add on Forms Submit in the Types of Actions field and select the form from which you want to save the entries in the Forms field. Now a new section named Action, Set 1, will be opened. In the Actions select Tablesome in the Integrations fields and then select the Add Row in Actions. You will see that the Auto Detect Other Form Fields toggle option is pre-selected by default and it will show the number of fields that are detected from your WP Forms form. When a new form is submitted, columns will be automatically created in the table and entries will be saved. There is another option called Manually Match Some Fields, you can choose it if you want to save only select fields from your form. Then click Save Table to save the table and your WP Forms entries would be saved to this table. You can submit a test form to see if a form is successfully getting saved in this table. Let's go to the form page and send sample form submission in our WP Forms form. We have filled all the form fields, now we will click the submit button and see if it gets saved to the table. Go to the table and refresh it. The sample form that we've just sent is saved to the tablesome table.
Not only can you save the form submissions but you can also edit the entries and delete them if they're spam. Suppose if you have a visible mistake in the entry such as gmail.com instead of gmail.com, you can easily correct it here itself, so that it would not be a problem in the future. Tablesum also gives you search, sort, filter and pagination options. When you have a large set of form entries these options would be very crucial to find specific form entries from the database. As we've already mentioned you can display the form entries on WordPress pages and posts. You can copy the shortcode above and paste on the page or you could also use the Tablesum shortcode builder to embed customized tables. Go to the page or post where you want to display the form entries. In the page add the table some shortcode block. In this block you can find several table options that you can choose for your form entries display. You can hide any of the columns, change the pagination limit, and enable or disable table options. Choose your preferences and save the shortcode. Publish the page and check it. The customized WP Forms Entries table will be displayed on this page with the preferences that we chose. Even as new form entries are being submitted they will be automatically added and displayed on the table. We can further customize the Tablesome display in the Tablesome settings. You might want to change the style of the table with WP Forms entries to match your site. Tablesome comes with the best options for this. In the admin dashboard, go to the Tablesome setting page. In the general settings you can also customize the layout options for your tables. Here you can make the first column sticky, add minimum column width, select a layout and stack tables on mobile devices. We will go to the Style tab. Here you can find a variety of style settings for the table which allows you to customize the style of your table and you can change the background color of the header and rows, font color, typography, and font size of the table content. Choose your preference and save the settings.
The style changes we have made are applied to our table with WP Forms form entries. You could also export the entries data in CSV and XLSX file format. To do this click the export a table in the Tablesome dashboard. If you are on any of the Tablesome pages, you can find the export table button on top of the page. In the export option, you can select the table in which your form entries are saved. Then choose the format, CSV or XLSX, to export and then select the type of delimiter, comma, semicolon, or tabulator. Then click the export button. You would also automatically export, which we've made as a separate video. I've linked it to the card displayed above. Like, comment and share this video. Subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this.